mean, guys, I was really f***ed up. I had a van. I had a van that I, a uh, camper van. You know, one of those things you can live in while you go for a week, or maybe you go to the hills for a weekend, right? I, well, I lived out of this thing. It was my home. Um, in two years, I put 72,000 miles on it. What was I doing? I was driving. 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 I was trying to get away. Well, clearly, there was something in the way, right? right? My, uh, you could call it all kinds of things, but my trauma was in the way. But uh, I hate that word, so I call it accumulated stress. My accumulated stress was in the way. And when you're stressed, you don't think very well. Right? Stress makes you think less. And I was really stressed. And I was stressed because of a bunch of really sh** that happened to me when I was a kid. Right? Just really, really bad, bad stuff that just never stopped. And it got me really, really tweaked out. And, and yet those skills have been available, right? They just, they just needed the stress to come down. Perhaps, I don't know, but he has this visionary moment. Have you guys heard about this visionary moment? He sees this vision, he says, oh my God, Nancy, there's a tiger. There's a tiger chasing you and you gotta run away from the tiger. Nancy, run, run to that tree. Run toward that tree and get away from the tiger. And Nancy, she screams, ah! And now she's running. It's more like this. And Nancy runs all the way. And she's running. She's running and her legs are going. And they're going. And they're going. And she's, she's starting to look around. And then her legs are running on their own. And, and then she's shaking inside. And her breathing is changing. And Peter is looking at all of that and saying, oh, this is important. He's looking at all that physiology and he's putting two and two together. And he's saying, oh, something just happened. That's more exciting than the ball rolling down the back of the wagon. <laughs> and he said before, and I really appreciate this, he says that he probably wouldn't have seen it for what it was, as powerful as it was, was if he hadn't been asking this question, which is, for me, personally, being somebody who's appreciative of human past and how much we used to pay attention to animals and how they used to be the center of our interaction with the world and each other. He asked this question, he said, why in the wild, even if animals might almost get killed, do you not see signs of trauma? but you do in humans. What are the animals doing that we're not doing? I mean, here, here you're like standing on like the, I mean, maybe you didn't see it at the beginning, but at some point you must have seen it. He's standing on the answer to the reason why we can't change and why we can't do the things we want to do and why so many of us feel so bad. He's standing on the middle of the answer. And it's that there's a second part of the stress response. Cool. Thank God. In Africa, when I talk about this, they say, it's God's wisdom in the body. I'm like, hell yeah. OK. It's God's wisdom in the body. My teacher calls the organic intelligence. Hell yeah! It's organic intelligence. Some scientists called it neuroception. It's neuroception! Hell yeah! I don't care! <laughs>
<laughs> Thank goodness that we've got it. Because, man, I have been through some really bad stuff, and I know I'd be dead by now. I don't know anybody who wouldn't have been hit by a car, hit by a bus, hit by, fallen down. This, you realize how many times we stop ourselves from getting hurt? You just start thinking about that. It's like, my God, my organism is genius. I'm a genius. I'm still alive. <laughs> and it, you know, it's gotten us all the way here. I mean, just species-wise, right? Like, we live. Animals live. Humans live. And they do it in a complex environment that's constantly changing because this thing is old. It works. It's at the base of behavior. And I'm in this thing that we call freeze. You got fight, flight, run away, fight back. But if you can't get away, then you freeze. Just like when Jim had me up, right? What am I going to do? I can't fight back. He'll kill me. I can't run. He'll kill me. I got to wait until something changes. I got to freeze. The thing about freeze, it's a low oxygen state. You can't stay there for very long. So here I am. It's time limited. And Steve's saying, wait all the time you need. Take all the time you need. Wait until you see what happens next. And slowly, very, 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 very slowly, underneath the clouds that I'm sailing through, underneath the feelings that I'm not having because I can't feel very much, underneath all the collapse and all the weight, there's this. There's this hint, just a, a, a spark of something different. And somehow it signals through my being, through my body, through my physiology, through my physicality, through my energy field. I don't know. I see it in people. I can see it in lots of ways. Steve can see it in lots of ways. You're going to see it in lots of ways. It's available to see it. And he says, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, in my head, I say, what's it? But then the other part, the second voice says, yes. Mm. That is it. Oh, oh, that's interesting. What is that? I mean, I, and I'm like, whoa. And Steve's like, yes. <laughs> And I'm just hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing all of my years of really, really frustrated anger. So frustrated, I was entirely ineffectual at doing anything that I actually wanted to do. And here is the real aggression. This is the real one. This isn't the posture one. This, this is the real one. And it's coming up inside of me. And it feels good and it feels oh, real and my hand comes up and Steve's arm is right here and I grab his arm and it's like I'm grabbing the throat of that and my hand clenches down and my arm is so tight and Steve's like yes <laughs> yes and I'm coming up and I'm pushing and he's pushing back and I have this thought, oh my God, this guy can't handle my anger. I am not going to, and I'm, and I can feel my whole body and I'm not doing it. It's happening. I'm pushing, pushing. Oh my God. Oh my, get him all the way to the other side of the room. Finally get back to the couch some, you know, long minutes later. Whoa, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Whoa, we're going to have to bottle this stuff, you know. This. <laughs> and this is too. Wow. I didn't notice you had all those lights in here. <laughs> have you always had that skylight? <laughs> wow, the floor is white. Oh, how do you keep oh, It's kind of off white. How do you keep it? I could see things. Like, I oh, could see things. 